Just wait till I have kids and then I'm like teaching them all the wrong things. It'd be great. Constantly translating in my head what's the right word. Perfect meld in the middle, like I said. We're a wild guy, you can't trust us. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, I am Yvette and I moved to the UK in May this year and I'm documenting my experiences in the UK. So where I work in London is quite a multicultural office. We have different ethnicities of everything. Um, and we have some Americans, some Brits, and me obviously an Australian. Oh hey Bam, are you coming to join? Um, and so there's a few words I mentioned that I get pulled up on, like all the embarrassing words I get pulled up on saying, but there's a lot that Americans say and I thought it would be fun to make a video on that just to mix it up a bit. Um, because I wanted to do American because I'll obviously give you the Australian and then the British and Australia kind of just is a meld of both cultures so it's like kind of fits into both. So um, you'll be interested to see how many times I side with the Americans and how many times I side with... So Americans would say water Der. and then Brits will say water, water, and Australians will say water because <laughs> we're just like drunk all the time, <laughs> stumbling over our words. So that's why it's a perfect meld. Does that make sense? Um, before we jump into the words, I will say I know the title says how Americans say words wrong, however, obviously, there's no real wrong way, it's just whatever the preference is. That's the best part of globalization and different cultures is the subtle differences we have some of which is how we pronounce words um, but to be honest you need a catchy title like hate and wrong and blah 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 even though I don't really have those strong feelings because otherwise my video gets no views so there you go bit bit of a peek behind the curtain so I know the trip the thing says wrong don't come for me we're all special in our own way without further ado we'll jump into it so this is a good example of how we do both. But the first one is Adidas. Americans will say Adidas, Adidas. It took me so long to realize it was the same thing. <laughs> I was like, what are they saying? I don't understand. Um, which I will say is actually wrong. I know I said earlier that like these aren't actually wrong. It's just different. But this one's wrong because it's um, Adi Das Hund or something is the guy who owns Adidas. So it's like me being like Yvette Barr rather than Yvette Barnett. Um, so it's not Adidas because it's not, it's a guy's name. So there is actually a right way to say it. However, the Brits say Nike, which I don't think so. <laughs> it's Nike because I think Nike is actually named after the Greek god who was like an athlete who ran a race or something. I don't know. He was a big deal. He was, an, he was a Greek god called Nike. So there is a right way to say that. And the Brits say Nike like bike. They don't say like bikey. So I understand that, but Nike is from the Greek mythology. So it is Nike. So there you go. One for the Americans, one for the Brits. Australians say Adidas and we say Nike. Perfect meld in the middle, like I said. We're very random, inconsistent. We're a wild guy, you can't trust us. The next one is oregano, which is like a herb, or I should have put that on there, herb. Americans say herb. That's wrong. I don't like this. They don't say herb. It's herb, guys. I can't get behind herb. It sounds too weird. Like, sounds like you're trying to be French. You're like, herb, you know? <laughs> um, but yes, herbs. Um, they say oregano. Uh, they say, Americans say oregano, oregano, and then Brits say ba um, oregano. Um, Australians say oregano, but I had a friend who used to say oregano, like as a joke, like just to be, I don't know, just be silly. Um, and now that's ingrained in my head. So now I half say oregano, but that's not normal. That's not like how Australians talk. We actually say oregano. I'm getting so tongue tied. I'm going to forget what I'm supposed to say halfway through this video. I'll be like Adidas. Yeah, that's what Australians say. Keeping with the herbs or herbs as of Basil Brush fame, but Americans will say basil, basil, basil. Americans say basil. See, I'm getting so confused. This is already ruining me. They love to like make a, a loud, like they like to pronounce that first part of the words where Brits are kind of just like low key. Basil, basil. We say basil, which is kind of just like in the mix because we don't like have the long, I say basil, but that's because my accent's all funny and melded with the British accent. <laughs> Australians will say basil, Americans say basil, and the Brits say basil. There you go. <laughs> accent lessons. This next one I get pulled up with all the time. So this is a time when Australians side with the Americans. Americans say schedule. So do Australians. I say schedule. 
um, Brits say schedule, which I think sounds more fun because you're like, shah, 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 <laughs> which is more fun. So I'm trying to start saying schedule just also because I hate being called out at work for being wrong, which is so very annoying. So like in the office, I'll have to be like schedule to my British colleagues and then schedule to my British, uh, to my American colleague because it's like, you don't want to get called out. So I'm like constantly translating in my head, what's the right word? But yeah, schedule sounds much more fancy than schedule. Another one of hotly contested, I think Australians will argue about this one, I don't think there's a, a finite way. There's aluminium, is how I would say it, and then Americans say aluminum, aluminum, which is like a lot of work. And to be honest, I'll just say the foil, to be honest. Pass this, the foil, pass the foil wrap. I don't think I've ever, like I don't think I, maybe I'll say aluminium. If someone said what is this, I'd say or aluminium, but not like common language, unless I was being quite formal, you know, but aluminum, it's just so over the top, but Americans love to pronounce things so correctly. I always think if I ever need to do an American accent, I just try and pronounce every letter, <laughs> you know? Another famous one is boy, so B-U-O-Y, so it's like the one that floats in the ocean. Australians say boy, Brits say boy, which, do you know how much that confused me as a child? Like. I didn't have a boat growing up, but we had friends and family that had boats. So we'd, so we would have family friends that had boats and I would spend a lot of my time on my friends' boats and that. Um, and they would often be like, watch out for the boy in the water. And I thought they meant like a literal boy. It took me years to understand that they meant the floating marker. <laughs> but Americans, Americans say boo boo It doesn't sound, <laughs> sounds like a different language. It doesn't sound English, boo -ay. It honestly sounds like someone from Essex talking about their boo. It's my boo, eh? <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, boo, eh? Um, sounds very posh. But yeah, it's a boy in <laughs> America. So there you go. Um, see, Australia with the Brits. I wonder what, someone should tell me in the comments below how many times Australians are more like the Americans or more like the British. Um, another food one, because I'm obviously hungry while making this, is risotto. Um, Obviously, very famous Italian dish, rice-based dish. Um, Americans will say risotto. No, <laughs> Americans will say risotto, risotto. Is that how I'm saying it? I'm so bad at accents, oh my gosh. That, I think, I think that one's more towards incorrect than just like a choice because it's two T's, which means it should be a, a lower, like it shouldn't be a capital. It should be a lower case sound, like uh-oh. So it should be uh, not oh. Does that make any sense? Grammar lessons, just wait till I have kids and then I'm like teaching them all the wrong things. It'd be great. Um, but yeah, risotto, 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 <laughs> or risotto, because there's two T's, so it's an ah oh, noise, risotto. <laughs> this next one is a funny one and I don't think I've ever really thought about it until we had this argument at work. So we were sitting on like the um, swivel chairs and we were arguing about the thing you pull to make it up and down. And so I said lever and then the American was like, lever, lever. It's just so much bigger. Everything seems so much bigger when they say it. So it's like lever, big. maybe as well my, ac my accent as well it makes it like a super big A noise at the end. So it's like lever, <laughs> you know. Um, so yeah, lever and lever. Australians, more like the British on that one. So I think the Brits might be winning, but we'll see. There is one more, last one, leisure center. So leisure center, is a place that is where you do swimming lessons and there's a gym there and it's like kind of like an all-in-one thing. I always did swimming lessons. <laughs> Maybe they do other things. I feel like I've only ever been there for um, swimming lessons. But anyways, Americans will say leisure, which I prefer. I prefer the leisure. It feels more, if you're like, I'm a lady of leisure, it's like leisure. I don't know, it feels more posh than leisure center. <laughs> but to be honest, don't say that word a lot. I don't have a lot of leisure time <laughs> but yeah so that was just some of the ones that i found with my team at work that we thought were pretty funny so let me know in the comments below if there's any others that you can notice um or you can just roast me for having such a bad american and british accent because i understand i am not pretending to be anything than other my shout out of the week goes to Lee Ferguson. Thank you so much for watching, Lee. It means a lot for you to share my videos. I'm trying so hard to hit 10K 
soon it'd be so nice which is i never even dreamt of hitting a thousand so 10 is amazing so thank you so much lee if you would like to be my next shout out all you have to do is share this video on your social media twitter or instagram or facebook and then just make sure you tag me in it so i can see and then you can be my shout out next week um but until then give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and remember to hit subscribe so i can see you next time and if you're feeling so inclined hit the bell because subscriptions can be a bit hit or miss sometimes so you'll never miss one if you hit the bell thank you so much for watching bye